name is Paul Gilbert. I play in the band Mr. Big. And we're real excited because both radio and MTV have decided that we're cool. So uh, things are going real well. And uh, our, new, uh, our new hit song to be with you is an acoustic song. So I get to play acoustic in it. <laughs> proud accomplishment during the first Mr. Big tour was having gone through the entire tour without breaking a single string. That was real cool. For acoustic, I use medium lights and I think they're the bronze ones. I can't, I can't tell by looking at them. Brass bronze, one of those, one of those metals that have BR at the beginning. And uh, for electric, I have sort of a strange gauge. Um, I've, I did a lot of experimenting where with real heavy gauges. Um, for tone and also to tone my vibrato down a little bit, strengthen up my fingers. And at one point I was using 11 to 52, which was a bit much, so I wimped out the high version and then ended up using a 9 on top and then uh, going with 50 on the bottom. But I think the gauge end ended up being 9, 12, 17, 26, 38, and 50. So you can really bang on the low ones without throwing them out of tune or breaking them, and you can still vibrato the high ones a whole lot and uh, not kill your fingers. When you're playing live, I found it's way different from, from studio playing because uh, I, I tend the whole adrenaline level starts kicking in and uh, you know, hitting the strings really hard. And I found uh, initially that I had used different picks. Uh, I was using these little teeny Jazz 3 things and, and my, I'd get done with the show and my hand would be bleeding everywhere because the pick was too small and my hands keep hitting the strings so I'd get larger picks. And uh, the same thing applies to strings where in the studio, I, I could get away with using uh, just like a regular set of nines, and uh, it would work fine because I wouldn't be banging on it that much. But live, I, I start uh, getting carried away and hitting it real hard. And I got to show you, this is unbelievable. This girl came to one of our shows, and I guess she's a painter, and she she made she painted a thing of that ad, and it's giant. Hold on a second. This is I don't know what to do with it. It's unbelievable. She comes in and gives me this, wow. which is, of course, the replica of the Dean Markley ad. And I don't know, I feel kind of funny about hanging it up, you know, it's like, hey, here's me, you know, With giant me. Uh, the first song I ever learned uh, actually has very little to do with my influences, but uh, was just because it was easy, uh, it was a Chicago tune. <laughs> But I was real into the Beatles, um, real into Led Zeppelin, Van Halen, um, Aerosmith, and a lot of different things. More recently, I've been listening to just anything, all kinds of varieties of different things. A lot of um, more recent dance music, I've been trying to figure out like Janet Jackson keyboard parts on the guitar. Like it. A lot of the people that, that come up and talk to me are, are guitar players and are so wrapped up in... Uh, learning how to pay, play fast stuff and scales and technique and all stuff, which is real important as a tool, but there sort of comes a time when you, when, when you have to uh, sort of think about what you want to do and not just how you're going to do it. Um, I, I spent so much time practicing a lot of the scale stuff and, and just learning how to play anything I could, and then I thought, well, wait a minute. But what do I want to do? Not just how am I going to do it. You know, you got to figure out the the your your goal. You know, now that you've got this amazing car, where do you want to drive? I've uh, never been a trend follower. You know, I mean. It's so